Welcome to the Toe Show. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you the most easiest way to make an artificial toenail for a toe that is missing a toenail. And I myself don't have any toenails on my large toes. I had them removed. So I do videos and show you how I make the artificial toenail. And for me, I can get these toenails to last anywhere from one to eight weeks. I don't know how long they would last for you. It just varies. Your lifestyle, until you learn how to do it correctly, I have no way of knowing how long it's gonna last for you. Now, I always try to put in the videos a disclaimer that the products that I use are not intended for skin. I said before I do this only on myself and I'm showing you in case you wanna take this on and try to do it on yourself. That you are aware that the products are not intended for skin and that there is a possibility that you could develop a reaction to this. I haven't, I've been doing this for several years, but that's just me. That's not saying that it might happen to you. I think that most of the people watching my videos are adults and can make their own choices and decisions on whether they wanna do this for themselves or not. I want you to look up in the corner because I'm going to insert my playlist. I have a lot of toenail videos showing how I do toenails in acrylic, in poly gel, and in builder gel. I'm showing you everything that you're going to need so you can look this up for yourself. Okay. Once you do your prep on your toe, you will need isopropyl alcohol to clean it and dehydrate it. I will also be using isopropyl alcohol as a slip solution so that I can pat my poly gel into place. You would need a bonder and I use Bond X by OPI. This is for bonding acrylic, but you know what? I use it for this purpose as well. I am using Madame Glam's base coat for the poly gel. You will need a poly gel and this is from the Born Pretty store and you can find this on eBay. You can find it on AliExpress, or you can go to Born Pretty's website. And then to paint the toenail a nude color, I'm going to be using Rosalind's Nude, and it is number one. And then you will need a top coat, and in this case, I'm using Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. And a little dappin' dish, or some kind of dish, to put your isopropyl alcohol in. And then you need a poly gel brush or a brush of some kind. This is the one I'm using, it's from Madame Glam. Most importantly, you would need a dual form that is large enough to fit your toe. And I sell two different types of dual forms now. The one that I started selling first is this one right here. It is curved. The sizes for this one here run zero to 11. And then the newest one that I'm currently selling is this one here, and it is much more flatter with less of a curve, and it's very large, okay? This is sized from one to 14. If you would like to purchase either set, you can email me. My email is in the description box below. You can tell me if you want the curved set, or the flat set and I will send the information to you. Today I will be using this type of dual form here. All right so here is what my toe looks like and you want to do the prep work and to do the prep work on a toe that doesn't have a nail uh, usually mine is anyways it's just a, like rough sk calloused skin. What I use is a e-file with a 240 grit sanding band. This is very fine and I just go around and kind of take off any of that flaky dead skin. You can also use just a, a nail file, you know, really a 180 grit and just get in there the best you can. Once you get the prep work done, you wanna come in with some isopropyl alcohol and you wanna clean off all that dust and it also cleans up the nail bed. Yeah, so let that dry. Now after that dries is when I'm gonna come in and apply the Bond X. This is the bonding agent. And I just apply some right over the nail bed and I let that dry completely. 
And while that bonder is drying, you can take your dual form and you can place it on your nail and determine how far up you want to take your nail that you're making, okay? You can mark it with a Sharpie. But you want to have some kind of an idea of how far you're going to take your poly gel up. And you want to remember that when you press the dual form on, that some of it will seep out at the tip area. You can see here that the dual forms do have lines in them and that will help you also determine where you want to put your mark. And you can see here that I put my mark at just the first line. And take your spatula and get a nice bead. And then over on the side, I have my isopropyl alcohol and my paper towel. And that is all I'm going to use just to just pat the poly gel in place. It has nothing to do with curing the poly gel or anything. You cure poly gel in your lamp. So the isopropyl alcohol just keeps the poly gel from sticking to the brush so that you can maneuver it around where you want it. So you just want to make sure that when you are patting it in place that you have equal amounts on each side of the dual form. And you want it a little bit thinner at the top. And you just uh, spread it out, you know. And if you need to wet your brush with the isopropyl alcohol, you just do that. Just kind of getting that to be just a little bit thinner down here by the cuticle. I don't want much to squirt out down there, really. I don't want any. So just kind of uh, make that a little bit thinner, kind of at an angle, you know. Okay. Now when I use clear poly gel, it cures really well. You don't have to worry about it curing because the light can penetrate through the clear poly gel with no problem. Okay, I think that is just about ready to put on the nail. Now is the time that you would apply the base gel over the nail bed area and cure it for 30 seconds. I didn't show it, but I'm telling you that now because you want to have your base gel layer on and cured before you apply the dual form with the poly gel. want to make sure you have it very tight into the cuticle area, not over the skin, but down in there, okay? And you want to push, not like overly push, but you want to push it down firmly, okay? And then you want to have your light, your portable light, and you want to hold it so that you can get a cure about 30 seconds and that way you can insert your foot into a larger lamp if you have a larger lamp for about a minute to a minute and a half or just use your small light for about a minute or minute and a half okay so I'm obviously gonna have to clip some of that off but I did tell you when you press it some of the poly gel does ooze out. All right, now you can see what the toenail looks like and it is very super thin. I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm going to apply my base coat and two coats of my gel polish and a top coat and that will strengthen the nail too. All right, so I'm going to apply the base gel. And I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds. I will actually be painting a total of three layers of the Roslyn number no. one new gel polish to my toenails. But in this video, I'm just going to show this one layer and then cure it for 30 seconds. And then I'll be back to show you the finished results. And here's the finished result. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. I hope you like it too. And I think it's one of the easiest toenails that I've ever done. And if you're interested in purchasing the dual forms, please find my email in the description box below and email me and I'll send you the information. 
Thanks so much for being here and watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.